I want us to look at uh, that scripture again on Luke 24, 49. It says, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. What is he trying to tell us? He's telling us that when the Lord sends you out, you will not go empty-handed. Amen? Amen. When the Lord gives you uh, an instruction to do something, you will not go empty-handed. When you obey the word of God, you will not be obeying it with your own strength. In other words, you will not do what the word of God says, says with your own says with your own strength. He will send you a helper. A helper. He says, I behold I send the promise of my father upon you. He said, wait until you receive this promise. Wait until you are ready. The will, he will rely, you will rely on the gift of God to do what God has called you to do. You will rely on the gift of God to achieve things in your own life. That now there are things you can achieve with your own strength. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But when you depend on the gift of God, you will achieve beyond your own strength. Even in your own business. This is why if you just seek me first, seek me first, and all of that is where sometimes we hear this, but it's hard for us to process it. But he really said, seek me first. If we can learn how to seek the Lord first, we will see the mighty hand of God in our lives. The Lord promised to send a help for those who will listen and be faithful to the word of God. He promised to send help. And the Holy Spirit is that help. Jesus said the Holy Spirit will fill us with power. He will give us the power to do the things that he has called us to do. Let us look at Acts chapter 1, verses 6 and 8. Acts chapter 1, verses 6 through 8. Power from God. This is the power from God that we're going to be looking at right now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know times and seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea, Samaria, and the end of the earth. Again, he tells them, in Jerusalem, you begin from Jerusalem before you start going out. Where is Jerusalem? Jerusalem is where you are. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jerusalem is where you are. But we will need the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, to step out by faith and do what God has called us to do. We will have to reach out to people who are not like us. You will have to deal with people who are not like you. If you are doing business and you start it, strategize properly, you will find that sometimes you need to deal with people who are not like you, but you should be able to deal with them, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because you know that, that the, the one that is backing you knows them better than they know themselves. The one that is backing you will help you to speak the language that they will understand, to act the way they will understand. One of the biggest mistakes we make in life is that we try to impose our traditions upon people we just meet. Forgetting that they have their own traditions, praise the Lord. Amen. They have their own traditions. You want to make a friend, learn that person's traditions, that person's ways. Nothing people like we had on yesterday, as nothing people like, like when you speak one word of their language. Yeah. They don't just mix with them up, especially when they don't expect you to. The Lord himself, he will help us when we are talking to people who don't have the same tradition, 
the same culture, even the same language as we, as we do. But if we learn to trust in the Lord, the Lord will speak through us and the power will move and do things that we couldn't do by ourselves. This is why it is important for us to understand how God plans things and how God does things. I want us to look at Jerusalem, for example. The Bible, the story we are learning about the people who the Lord said they should stay in Jerusalem and wait for the power. The Bible told us that they were in the upper room, you know, praying. It's almost like they were locked in. It's almost like they were hiding. Because they didn't know what to do. They had no power of their own to do anything. But they didn't want it properly. They stuck together and waited and prayed just as the Lord told them. Then one day the power of God fell upon them. When the power fell, the Bible said that they started speaking with boldness. Those who were locked in all of a sudden, they came out of the streets, they started speaking, and everybody was looking at them and said, what is going on here? Let us look at the scripture that tells us about those who saw them when all of a sudden these people who were hiding became bold. Why were they bold? Because the Spirit of God was in them. When the Spirit of God moves in you, you're going to be bold, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In your business, you'll be bold. The things that you were afraid to do before, if you strategically thought clearly, you will find yourself doing those things. Challenges that you are afraid to undertake before, you have boldness to undertake them. You have boldness to confront the things that you wouldn't have been able to confront on your own in the past. The Bible tells us that they came out and started speaking boldly and declaring the power of God and the good news of Jesus Christ, just like Jesus told them. They did that in Jerusalem. Let us take it from Acts chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Acts chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Acts chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. This is the story here. After they have started speaking, it says, And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews. Devout men from every nation under heaven. And when this, this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language. Then they were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, Look, are not all these who speak Galileans? And how is it that we hear each in our own language in which we were born? Parthians, Amelis, Elamites, and those dwelling in Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya adjoining Cyrene, Cyrene, visiting from Rome, both Jews and Persians, Cretans and Arabs, hear them speaking in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we begin to imagine what happened here? These were Jews who do not speak any of these languages. But because of the power of God, when they opened their mouth to speak, the people began to understand them clearly and said they were speaking their language. And if a, 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 an Egyptian sitting here, a Roman standing here, they both had the same person, each had his own language being spoken. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the power of God. That is the power of God. 